Hello and welcome back. Today we are looking at Hot Stuff Skipper from 1984. Now, Hot Stuff Skipper was、uh, quite an important doll in Skipper history because she came out with a new head mold, s as you can see there.、Um, I personally prefer the vintage mold. s Um, especially the mod era where she had the lashes. My favourite is the long haired TNT skipper, which you'll see a few of mine here. And then they had the、uh, teen, super teen skipper mold in around 1978 79, I think. I had that doll as a kid growing up. She was my first skipper ever.、Um, I also had a horse loving skipper, which was、uh, like a European, Canadian, Australian、uh, special, I guess. Um, who was just basically a re redressed Western skipper.、Um, she also had the superstar mold, but this girl had what is known as the hot stuff mold. I think it's, you know, because she was the first, one of the first to have it there.、Um, a lot of collectors don't like that mold. I wasn't a fan, to tell you the truth, but、um, actually, it's grown on me. And, you know, I thought she would look great with my.、Uh, Great Shape gang, there, the Barbie and the Ken.、Um, I know that there's a Great Shape skipper, but you know, even though I love the vintage head mold, I actually don't like that doll that much. I mean, maybe she will grow on me. I don't like the eyebrows for some reason. They're very high up and straight, and the bangs, and、uh, yeah, it just doesn't appeal. And so I think、um, this girl actually looks better with Great Shape Barbie. It looks like they actually updated you know, the Great Shape skipper doll to. Look like this, so it would go better with Great Shape Barbie. As you can see in the ad, I will include here where they introduce Hot Stuff Skipper. So let's take a look at that. Introducing Hot Stuff Skipper, Barbie doll sister. Great Shape Barbie sold separately. We girls love having lots of clothes, right, Barbie? Right, Hot Stuff Skipper. Hot pink leotard, wild leg warmers, long leggy sweats, mini skirts, show to find. Of Skipper doll comes with this bright colored mix and match wardrobe. Barbie doll sold separately, new from Mattel. Now let's take a look at the box. Have a closer look at that. That's Hot Stuff Skipper. And as you can see, she comes with interchangeable clothes, all in very 80s bright Crayola shades there. All the primary colors and that pink as well. So, you know. Red, blue, yellow, white, and then you've got your, your pink, of course. And what's it say there? Hot colors to mix and match. Very 80s thing.、Um, some of you may remember Benetton, and they did have Benetton Barbies back in the day. That was a very Benetton thing, mixing and matching. They had all these really great colored sweaters there.、Um, and then let's have a look at the other sides of the box now. I actually love the back of the box a lot. It looks great.、It、looks so 80s there, just with that green and yellow backdrop.、Uh, hot stuff skipper. And then you can see some of the、uh, items you can mix and match there. I like the logo at,、uh, sweater too. I'm not a fan of logo sweaters for myself or on people, but on dolls, I love them for some reason.、Um, she also comes with the mirrored glasses, which is a very 80s thing.、Um, you might have remembered my、uh, Sun Gold Malibu PJ. Video where she has very similar glasses there. They look the same actually. And let's read down the bottom here. My focus is terrible today, so please excuse me. And the camera's not cooperating whatsoever yet again, even though it was fine in the rehearsals. Okay, there we go. Create all these looks and more.、Um, and that's interesting. Did you notice that there's a sticky bit they stuck over the The box there. Doll, need assistance to, doll needs assistance to stand. Flat shoes will not fit with tights. And they just stuck that over. So that's funny. I wonder what's underneath. I might peel it off later and see. And then you can see the contents there、uh, Skipper doll,、uh, leotard,、uh, short skirt, tights, leg warmers, sweatpants, shorts, one pair of athletic shoes, one pair of flat shoes, headband, sunglasses, brush and comb. 1984, because she is from 1984. And this is the Philippines version. There was also, I think, a Hong Kong version, which I actually don't like much either because 
Her face looks a bit wonky usually. The eyes look wonky and the lashes look a bit wonky. And um, yeah, this girl looks a bit prettier. I like. I think the Philippines versions just look softer and prettier. And you know, they have um, softer makeup and that sort of thing. And you know, they match Barbie more, I think. They're... So anyway, let's look at the side of the box now. And I love the side of the box. This is how I'll probably dress her to be in the workout center. Because that's why I bought her. I wanted to skip her in the workout center with Barbie and Ken. And I'm going to retool um, Sun Gold Malibu PJ to be a great shaped PJ as well. You'll see that in a later video, I guess. But I love this outfit. It's so 80s. So heading off to the gym there. Leg warmers, headbands, <laughs> leotard, tights. What more could you ask for? And let's take a look at Hot Stuff Skipper out of her box. She's still on her backing card, as you can see. There was like a million sirens happening on the streets for about the last five minutes. I was just trying to, trying to start to film there. Um, I went outside and there wasn't anything going. I mean, I, they must have been chasing somebody. I mean, that really happens here. It's quite quiet, this suburb. Um, but yeah, it was crazy. I thought the world was going to end or something. So before that happens, I thought I'll try to get in one more video of uh, Skipper. But I think, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to do all of it before the world ends. Uh, there we go. And uh, I'm still not focusing any at all. There we are. Okay, so you can see she's on the super teen Skipper body there with the bent arms and, you know, the beginning of some breasts there, so oh, she'd be in like you know early teens, I guess. A little more grown up than the vintage skipper, the vintage Amadeo skipper, who's about what nine or ten years old. And you see her fabulous outfit there, and let's zoom in on the face. Yeah, the Hong Kong versions are usually uh, a bit more squashed in the head. You know, very high forehead, um, and you know the bottom part looks pretty squashed, and her eyes usually look wonky. But she looks quite pretty, actually. Yeah, quite in proportion now. I guess they did the high forehead just for that headband or something. And you know, she's got the side part blonde hair, which is curly down to the waist, which is typical, typical 80s skipper there. And you can see her sweater, her blue sweater, her pink shorts, that fabulous red rara skirt. That's what we used to call it back then. Um, and then her tights and her leg warmers and a baggie with uh, the brush and the comb. I love the yellow and brush and comb. I, I got one with uh, first my first Barbie as well. Love it in yellow for some reason, more than the pink. And but behind that is her uh, her pants, her yellow pants, which kind of blend in to the background a bit. See there, it's got a thread there, I'm gonna get rid of it, but anyway. And of course, comes with that fabulous Barbie World of Fashion booklet from 1984. That was the last booklet I got as a kid. Um, I think it was with Sweet Rose's PJ or something like that. Uh, we'll have a quick look at that as well, and then we'll uh, remove our dear hot stuff skipper from her backing and let's see her in full there before we remove skipper from her backing let's have a quick look at that wonderful booklet from 1984 there barbie world of fashion as you can see there the silver sensation fashion i still have that box but the box is in great shape um i wanted uh, as i think part of a photo contest, the Barbie photo contest on Facebook. I should debox that one day and I'll show it on a Barbie now that I'm into the 80s. I've had it for years, so that might be a future video. If you guys want to see that, just comment down below. There's the fabulous silver vet. I might want to get that one day. I had the pink one, the pink Corvette from 1982 as a kid, but I like that better. And then you can see her wedding fashion. The springtime magic fashion, not really my style, it's a bit very foofy. Uh, and then the very 80s spectacular fashions. I love the silver and red one actually, very Joan Collins, very dynasty. 
My first Barbie fashions. Skip a fashion fantasy. The designer collection, which I love. I love the designer collections usually. And there's more. I think they're the reversible day to night fashions, are they? Yeah, I think so. Reversible fashions for Ken. Twice as nice, that's what they're called. Yeah. Great, let's have a look at the other side. And there's the other side there. The limited time offer, buy two genuine Barbie fashions, get one free by mail from Mattel. The usual warranty stuff and what does it say? Look for the label. Yeah, uh, you know, the usual Barbie fashions are original in every way. If anyone's ever owned a Barbie doll and had the booklets, that's usually they are. Just saying how genuine they are. There's some dolls from the early 80s. I just got Crystal Barbie, but she wasn't in the box. She was just in an outfit I really wanted. A bit TLC, but might keep her, I'm not sure. But, you know, I really liked her, actually. Didn't think I would, but, yeah. Oh, Fashion Fantasy. That tuxedo outfit, I had that and I loved it to death because I was reading fashion magazines, I was starting to read fashion magazines in the early 80s and that tuxedo look was everywhere. Everyone was doing it in the early 80s, so very um, on trend. There's some more of the fashions. There's Loving You Barbie. Yeah, never really wanted her back in the day. Um, even now, the outfit's a bit Glenda the Good Witch, I think. And anyway, <laughs> great shape, Barbie, Ken, and Skipper. And that's the, that, that's the other Skipper. Let's have a look at her. Yeah, so that was the original great shape Skipper there. She is cute there, I guess. But yeah, no, I wanted the hot stop Skipper. I might get her later. Who knows? Fashion fun. I had that swimsuit. Loved it to death. More fashions. Sweet Rose's PJ. Now, Sweet Rose's PJ was... The last doll I got as a kid. Bought her with my own money, went all the way to the city to get her. Wanted a PJ doll so desperately, so hard to find. I remember seeing Dream Day, I should have gotten her, but I missed out on her. So when Sweet Rose's PJ came out, I got her. So she was the last doll. Smelt like roses. Um, yeah, she was beautiful. Loved her. Happy birthday, Barbie doll. And there's the Sun Gold Malibu dolls. You saw my video with Sun Gold Malibu PJ there. Twirly Curls Barbie doll, I had the African-American version as a kid. She was the first African-American doll I had, and I loved her to death. Um, don't want to get her again though, because I'm not a fan of the Dee Dee face anymore, but maybe I will, who knows. Tracy and Todd, you know, that wedding, that bridal couple. The Fashion Extras, which I loved as a kid because they were so cheap, you know, if you didn't have much pocket money, you could grab one of those. Angel Face Barbie doll, which I actually really like now because of her hair. You know, sort of like that streaky brunette blonde hair. Maybe get her one day, I don't know. My first Barbie doll, Prancer the Horse. Dallas I had, I didn't have the other horses, but I had Dallas as a kid, loved that horse there. And there we go, and that's the 1984 booklet. And there she is, freed from her backing and out of her box. And there's her wonderful, very 80s mix and match items there with the yellow sweatpants, that blue oversized sweater, those uh, shorts, the pink shorts. And there she is. Her, she's got box hair, of course. We'll have to fix that later. But her hairstyle is quite interesting. It's actually um, side ponytail and then a ponytail at the back. And the headband's actually stitched on to the back of her head, uh, which is, yeah, it's just. I find that the Great Shape Barbie as well, her Walkman uh, headphones were stitched onto her hair as well. Um, but I might remove that later. And you know, she's holding her sunglasses there, her mirrored sunglasses, very 80s. She looks great at that angle, doesn't she? And there's her outfit. I managed to wrestle on the uh, pink sneakers, which were really hard, so I can imagine that those yellow flats would be impossible and they would split if you tried to put them on over those thick ribbed tights there. And as I said, she's got the uh, super teen skipper body there with the bendable arms. She's got a rotational head, um, bendable legs. They don't bend that well though. They're very rubbery and they don't bend. They don't click that hard actually, but that's okay. 
Anyway, and there she is at the box. I might dress her in a couple of the other items for you now. Let's have a look at those. Introducing Hot Stuff Skipper, Barbie doll sister. Great shape Barbie sold separately. We girls love having lots of clothes. Right, Barbie? Right, Hot Stuff Skipper. Hot pink leotard, wild leg warmers, long leggy sweats, mini skirts, short of spine, mirror glasses that shine. Hot Stuff! We girls can do anything. Right, Barbie? Hot Stuff Skipper doll comes with this bright colored mix and match wardrobe. Barbie doll sold separately. New from Mattel. Okay, and there you saw some of Hot Stuff Skipper's mix and match looks. Uh, they're a lot of fun to put on her, to dress. Um, but those shoes, those yellow flats were almost impossible to get on, even over bare feet, because her feet are quite big. Um, but finally got them on. I had to heat them up with a blow dryer and then retch them on there. But she looks great. I mean, this is probably one of my favourite uh, non-aerobic outfits, I guess. Um, you've got the red rara skirt, the blue sweater just draped around her shoulders, and that pink leotard. So she's just uh, finished her time at the gym, and she's ready to set off to meet Barbie and Ken, I guess. At the beach or something, I don't know. <laughs> and see those cool mirrored sunglasses there? You'll probably see more looks just on my Instagram, so please follow that at Fashion Doll Dreamer. Um, uh, but in the meantime, oh, you might also see some photos of her uh, working out in the workout center with Great Shape Barbie and Ken, and possibly an OOAK Great Shape PJ, if I get around to it soon. Um, but for now, uh, stay safe. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.